In this video I'm going to be filling and bleeding the hydraulic clutch system in my 2017 KTM 250 EXC. I've just installed this new clutch hose and need to fill it with fluid. Uh, traditionally the way you do that is to put uh, fluid into the master reservoir and then uh, with the uh, slave bleeder open with a hose on uh, you pump the fluid through the system. Uh, one big problem with that is uh, it takes a long time to bleed all the air out of the system. The air tends to want to, to rise and uh, goes against the uh, bleeding direction. So I'm going to use a different method which is called reverse bleeding where you inject the fluid uh, from the bleeder uh, by the slave. One critical thing to check is what uh, fluid is required in the clutch system or brake system. And if you're unsure, uh, one easy way to check that is to look at the reservoir cap. So you can see here my Brembo uh, clutch cap uh, states that dot 4 or 5.1 uh, is required. So the method I'm going to be using is called reverse bleeding, whereby you inject um, fluid in through the slave bleeder. And to do that you need a syringe. So the one I'm going to be using today uh, is this new one I've got, um, which I think will work really well. Um, the traditional type of syringe uh, used for brake bleeding is this type and one issue you can have is the hose uh, pops off quite easily. Um, so in the past I've used zip ties and that works reasonably well. Uh, but this new one has a really nice fixture where it holds the, uh, the tube very tightly and uh, it uses a uh, harder type tube. Um, also the uh, seals on the plunger seem to be really good. So. I think uh, this should work really well, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And then you need an, another syringe for drawing off fluid from the master reservoir when, once you've pushed up the fluid. And I, I'm going to be using some DOT 5.1 and I've got some brake cleaner. And you should all, always wear gloves when you're using brake fluid uh, because it'll irritate your skin if you don't. Okay, so this is the slave bleeder and uh, I'm using a uh, 7 millimeter. Uh, wrench on it and to open it so you simply turn it round like that as it doesn't have any fluid in at all uh, right now that's no problem opening it and I, as you can see I put some uh, brake fluid into the syringe I'm going to be using and uh, then I just need to connect it to the bleeder so you need to press it on firmly and you can see it's now on and make sure it stays open and uh, once you've got uh, made sure all the air is out of the uh, tube you can start injecting some fluid and you need to keep an eye on uh, the master and uh, make sure the level uh, doesn't go too high and it starts overflowing so I'm just starting to inject the fluid and just do it slowly if you try and do it too fast there's a chance that it'll pop off Okay, so I can now see uh, some fluid coming out and uh, the master is getting full. So that's good. Just put a little bit more in. And then leave it there. And then I'll lock this off. So now I have the hose completely full of fluid and I'm pretty sure there's uh, no air in, in the hose. Uh, it should have all gone out. I could hear the air coming out when it was filling up. And once the uh, master reservoir is full, uh, draw off some with the syringe so you can uh, repeat the filling. And it's probably a good idea to repeat it two or three times just to make sure you uh, clear all of the air out of the system. Okay, so I've repeated the uh, reverse bleeding filling process uh, three times now. And uh, I can tell by the uh, clutch lever action um, that uh, it doesn't feel as though there's any air in there. Um, if there was air in there, you'd be able to pull it partially back uh, before it started engaging. Uh, but I don't feel uh, any play like that. So I'm pretty confident that uh, it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the cap on and uh, then start the bike up and test it. Okay, so I've got a cloth underneath the uh, master reservoir and I'm going to put the cap back on and uh, you'll have some fluid spill over. That's okay. 
and then uh, you can put the screws in and the screws are quite small so be careful not to over torque them then you can use some brake cleaner to clean it off So next I'm going to check the clutch engages OK with the engine running. Um, ordinarily uh, it starts to engage just as I release um, off these two fingers. So I'll check that uh, in adjustment. So that feels fine. So if, for example, the clutch started to engage with the uh, lever just off the handlebars, that would indicate that there's still some air in the system and uh, you need to bleed it out. So take the uh, cover off, inject some more fluid in through the uh, slave bleeder and repeat that a couple of more times and then test again. Um, it's a very quick and easy method, uh, especially compared to the traditional method of uh, pumping fluid through from the top. That can take a very long time and uh, be quite painful sometimes. So reverse bleed methods are uh, highly recommended.